Hey boaters, it's Jim from Ray Marine here with Brian Jensen. We're looking at YachtSense Link and we have a little tech tip for you on getting your system set up. So there's a process, Brian, called onboarding That's and right. I guess it's done with an app. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, so in order to connect to your boat when you're off boat or even when you're on it to be able to do some of the things like control, you basically need to set up the network. And in order to do that, you basically need to connect the router to the cloud and then ultimately to control it through the app. So that's our onboarding process. So the way you start that is by downloading the new Raymarine app. Okay, and that app, it's available for Apple and Android? It's available uh, via the uh, Google Play Store. Okay. So for Android, and it is available through the App Store for, for Apple. So it's av available on, on both platforms. Both platforms, great. So um, I guess uh, let's take a look at the app. We've got it running here on an iPad. Um, yeah, so right now we're running on an iPad. Again, it'll work on any Android or iOS device. Um, one thing that I want to make note of that's really important is the new Ray Marine app actually uh, replaces the old Ray Connect, Ray Control, and Ray View. That's a great point. It is. So we've built all those functions into this sort of more modern app experience. Um, so you're going to be able to do your screen mirroring and all that stuff within this app as well, download your charts, things like that. So I just want to make that a point of that. Um, so when you download the app, all you have to do is then uh, create an account. Uh, if you use the Raymarine chart store already, that means you already have a Raymarine account. So you can just log in with that. There's no need to create a new account. That's great. Yeah. Yep. But but if you if you uh, are new to the app or new to Raymarine, then you do need to create accounts. Very simple, basic form. T takes a second to uh, to sign up. So I'm gonna go ahead and we've already created an account on this mm -hmm. one and I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Um, good point though, before I log in, the first thing you actually need to do is connect to the router's network. So you actually have to connect the, the uh, app to the, to the router's network, to the access point. So I'm gonna actually go into here in settings and uh, Wi-Fi, go ahead and turn it on. So we pre-configured uh, the access point, the network for the router. So you'll see it in here. We actually uh, have it right there. We're now connected. And so this means now that the router has uh, established a Wi-Fi connection uh, to the app. So I'll go back into the app. And from now, um, since I'm connected, it will now allow me to log in. Again, we've already created an account. So now we're logged in. Once you're logged in, now it's time to set up your boat. All right. So how can I tell in the app that I'm actually linked to um, to the Wi-Fi hotspot anyway? Um, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're actually going to have to, you're going to see a, a page that prompts you to connect. Ah, okay. So it's going to prompt you to go through this onboarding process. So right there, it'll, it'll uh, right in the middle of the page, it'll say how to connect. You click on that. It's going to then give you an option of what kind of device you want to connect to. So we have uh, obviously the router, uh, and then we also have the, the element and the Axiom chart plotters. You need to connect to those in case you want to do your screen mirroring and mm -hmm. things like that. Updates. So you would have to you would have to uh, uh, connect that way. But I'm going to go ahead and connect to the router, and what happens is the router is going to sort of scan the network, and it's going to recognize right away that it is connected to the router. So it says a connection established. Um, and then it's going to ask you to start configuring and setting up your boat. Okay. So I'll just click the set up your boat button. And then what's going to pop up is, uh, is the camera view effectively, because what we need to do from here is we need to actually link and create a one, one to one connection between the app and the router. Okay. And the way you do that is through scanning of a QR code. Now, there's a couple different ways you could do that because there's a couple different spots uh, where you can access this QR code. The first spot is actually on the side of the router. Uh, so if you watch one of our other videos about how to configure or set up, you'll know that the information panel here is on the side. If your router's in a place that's not very accessible or you can't really get to it to scan it, don't worry, there's other ways you could do it. You could do it through accessing the configuration page uh, via laptop computer or any sort of browser or through a mobile device accessing the browser. Uh, the, the third way that you can do it uh, is the way we're going to do it today, which is actually through the uh, YachtSense link configuration page that's available on our Axiom chart plotter. 
So with that said, you're going to see the QR code uh, viewer right here. I'm going to hand this uh, iPad over to Jim here, and Jim's going to actually do the scanning to take us through the rest of the onboarding. All right. So I'm going to take my iPad. I have the camera enabled on it, and I'm just going to point it at this QR code. Get it in the frame. And presto. All right. Back to you, Brian. Just like uh, looking at a menu at a restaurant, Amazing. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So then the next step is it's going to ask you actually what you'd like to call this boat. Um, I'm not feeling very creative today, so I'll just call it test boat two. And I'll set it up and I'll save it. <clears throat> and what it's going through now is it actually went and it onboarded the router. So now it's all connected, um, everything's set up, and now you could just get into the configuration part of it, the fun stuff. Great. Yeah. So there's obviously other features and capabilities that can be accessed once you have that onboarding complete. Once this step is complete, though, that sort of opens up the gateway for, for all the features. Everything then. that Yacht Sense yes, can do. Yes, exactly. Well, to learn more about Yacht Sense Link, you can head on over to raymarine.com. We have all the details on it over there. If you're ready to get Yacht Sense Link on board your boat, bring some nice connectivity to all your devices underway. You can certainly visit your local Raymarine dealer and they can get you all set up with this exciting new technology. We'll be back shortly with another Yacht Sense Link Tech Tech video. So keep watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.